Okay, this is another video for F452 OCR Computing, uh, the programming unit. Uh, this is just a really quick one based on constants and why the use of declared constants improves maintainability. So we've already talked about constants uh, in another video, basically a value that doesn't change in the program. Uh, so in this program here, we've seen, uh, possibly seen before the shopkeeper program. If I just run it quickly, just to remind you what it does. We've got a shop that has three shelves um, and it can hold 10 shelves on each, uh, 10 loads on each shelf. So if we have 36 loads, then it tells us that we're using all three shelves and we have six loads left over. Okay, so in this we have some constants. Here's a constant here. This is 10 for the loads. Uh, we know that each loaf, each shelf takes 10 loads. Sorry, getting confused. Each shelf will take 10 loads, so we've got this 10 throughout. Now, that's not a problem, that's okay, it's still a constant, it never changes, but it does make it a bit difficult if we then decided to install a new set of shelves that take more than 10 loads, so we might have a little upgrade later on. Um, so that's where the use of constants, and here's the declared constant at the top, where we've got an integer constant of the shelves is three, make it a lot easier to read the program. So see we've got three shelves uh, here, we've got shelves here, shelves here, shelves here, that's three all the way through. So if we uh, change this now to uh, have another constant, int const uh, loads per shelf, equals 10, what we can now use is this instead of the value 10, here, 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 and that's it. Now this makes it easier for us to maintain the program in the future. Because if we do want to make a change, all we have to do is change the value up here. It doesn't make it a variable because we can only do it by changing the code. Um, if we run this, hopefully it should work. I know I haven't made any mistakes. How many loads we have? 34, 3 with 4 left over. Now if we change this to 15, for example, let's run it now. How many loads do you have? 34. So now we see the values changed. The program's changed just because we've changed that value once there. Otherwise, I'd have to go and change that several times. I'll change it back to 10. You can see again with the shells. If we then get four shells with 10 loads, and I run that program now, let's have a quick look. Let's say we've got 34, four. Uh, it said that we had four shells left over. Now it's telling us we're using three four shells and we've got four shells four loads or one more shelf, that's because we have four shelves now. If I change that now to 44, there we have similar to what we had before because we've now got four shelves. So that now makes it a lot easier for us to maintain the program. Um, so using the declared constant, here we've got two of them, makes it a lot easier to maintain your program. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again here soon.